Pillar in the Fisher Price Coda Pillar Coding app. To get started using this activity, students install the app and then open it up and click on the code. Let's play. The first Choose time a in, level you may and have let's to do play. some permissions with allowing it access. Just click through the permissions with your students and then they can get started coding. Coda Pillar is a great system for our beginning learners to learn level how to build one algorithms and develop sequences. So here we are with Scratch Jr. To open it up, I went down to the bottom bar and I went to my launcher and I opened up the app. You should have also previously installed it from the Play Store, which could be this app icon here. Once we're in, uh, it's going to use the touchscreen features of the device. So we tap the home with our finger. And if this is the first time the student is using it on this device, they will not see this many projects. To start a new project, we're going to click up at the plus sign in the top corner. And Scratch Jr. is like a blank canvas. We've got a whole lot of different scenes here. To add characters, we'll go to the left. To add more scenes, we go to the right. To change our backgrounds, we've got the top. And for this week, I would love to see them maybe code something for the Earth Day. And let's add a rainforest animal here. Uh, let's add that. Cute little froggy there could be sitting up on the branch. And our cat, I just drag it with my finger there. I can use a programming block here to start. And I might have it say something. And so we can say hi for the frog. If I go up to the cat, you can see that I am the cat now that's now highlighted in orange up here. And I want the cat not just to say hi. Uh, maybe the cat will say happy Earth Day. And so when I go up to this green flag up here at the top of my page and I click on that, my characters say what I want them to say. You could add in some moving blocks. And have fun coding and for Earth Code Spark Academy. Once you've installed the app, open it up. As soon as you've already had a discovery, will already have been put in to their school, and they will have signed in as a student. I will have those join codes as well for the week of Hour of Code in our slideshow. But to use the app without a code. All they have to do is go to schools, click on students, and click the Hour of Code button down below. That will download and add the Hour of Code game to the students' devices. It should be able to be played by the students for not just the week of Hour of Code, but for a few weeks. I suggest that the students try the puzzles section and work through the puzzles and coding the Foo's characters on different missions. They'll also be allowed with the Hour of Code section to create a game. And once they click on that and they click on the first level, you can see that they will have to go and design and code their characters through the game. So students will work through moving the characters through the game and work on solving these problems to be able to achieve the goal. Once they have finished going through a game and learning how to play it, they'll be able to design a game.